Sometimes in life, you get really lucky and become friends with a truly exceptional person like Mike Welch. I first met Mike in the late 90s while working at TST Expedited. Mike owned Express One and met with our TST management team a few times. Shortly after I started GPS Net in 2001, Mike and Express One became our second customer. Not because we had a great product to offer, but because we had an idea that Mike bought into. You see, we believed if people worked together, even if they were competitors, that everyone would be stronger and better for it. And that is the way Mike was. He wasn't selfish or focused on winning at all costs. He was a family man and a community man. He always looked for the good in people and focused on building relationships and trust rather than growth at any cost. For many leaders, their motto for growth would be, it's not personal, it's business. But Mike would likely say, it's not business if it isn't personal. Anytime I was traveling through the Buchanan area, I would call Mike and ask if I could drop in. He would always welcome me, regardless of his busy schedule. And often when I got there, he was having a barbecue for his drivers or a special lunch for his staff. He always treated his people with dignity, respect, and kindness. He was a constant champion of our Alliance of Expedite Companies vision at GPSNet and helped us grow the business. At GPSNet and later Selectus, we would hand out annual awards to companies who helped build our alliance, and Mike and Express One were perennial winners. In 2010, we awarded Mike the Best Builder Award, which was a GPS Net jersey. Mike wore the number 23 jersey with pride. He was the second person to win a jersey, and each subsequent year, he would show up at our annual conference and bring his jersey. He would join all the new inductees on stage to get a group picture of the Alliance Builders. He and his staff attended many of our conferences and networking events. He often participated in our golf outing. His company would sponsor our events. Mike taught me a lot. He and Keith Avery started Express One and grew it from two trucks to over 300 trucks plus other divisions. He was a pioneer in the expediting world in North America. And every time I visited their office in Buchanan, I learned more about the industry and how a successful company should operate. When he sold Express One and retired, Mike almost came to work for me at Selectus. We had an amazing project that Mike was excited to start. Unfortunately, a non-compete clause prevented that from happening. But Mike took it in stride and found other ways to contribute to the Expedite community. When Mike started Magnet, I was thrilled that he asked me for help with some of their acquisition due diligence. I was again able to see Mike do his magic as he began to build a new business. By that time, I had started my latest venture, Full Circle TMS. And thanks to Mike, Magnet became one of our first customers. In the fall of 2017, two years ago, Mike accepted the keynote speaker role at our very first user conference at the Kentucky Fairgrounds in Louisville. At that event, he joined me and a small subset of our attendees for a private tour of the stables and then the winner circle of race five. Mike always belonged in the winner circle. Over the past 20 years, I got to know Mike's family, his amazing and effervescent wife, Lisa, and his hardworking brothers, John, Jim, and Bill. His entire family shared his focus of putting family and friends first. When I retired from Selectus, Mike took the time to make a video and send it to me. I was inspired by it. Shortly, I will stop talking and you will see the video. After that will be a collection of photographs of Mike over the years as he attended many of our events. Like I said at the start, sometimes in life you get really lucky and become friends with a truly exceptional person like Mike Welch. We will miss you, my friend. Yeah, no, I think what we should do on that is buy at that high number and sell at the uh, higher number. So, okay, thanks. Oh, I got I got an interview here. I got to go. All right, thanks. Hey, Stu, this is Mike. I just want to congratulate you on your retirement. I know it's a, a big achievement for you and everything that you've done for the community. Me being retired for a little bit, I thought I'd give you a few tips on what to do. 
one of the things I do is I come to work every day and I, I keep on working. As you can see, it's, it's uh, something, as you see my office, it's, it's a serious work environment where I try to get things done. Uh, besides work, what I like to do is sometimes go over some of my past achievements and accolades that help me remember about uh, the olden days. So if you don't mind, that, and I'll show you a few things. Uh, please pan up. I don't get the shorts there, cameraman. Thank you. Oh, no, up, up, up. So one of the things, some of my favorite things, is my Selectus Paperweight Award that I get at every Selectus thing, is I get these heavy paperweights, and I really appreciate them. Year after year, I collect these, and they're really, really nice. It's the Builder's Award. I think this is the award for people who don't win anything that you give to people. It's a good one. I've got three or four of those. So, but it's important to look at these and say, hey, we weren't that bad back when we were working. This is the Virtual Fleet Utilization Award, which is a prestigious award that uh, I look at pretty much weekly and say, man, I'm glad I won that. Then I also look at the junior high softball teams and baseball teams I've helped sponsor and helping the kids. And that makes me feel better in my, about myself as I do nothing day in and day out. But come to work, come to your house every day, your home office, and, and make something of yourself. Don't get tired. Don't get lazy. You know, enjoy uh, your freedom, but keep your mind sharp. Again, looking at these awards. I also do a lot of my social networking with my friends. I follow Facebook uh, probably seven to eight hours a day. Very, very valuable time well spent. I know everything about kale or I know where John Elliott's latest drink is coming from. Those are things that are very important to me and maybe one day I'll be in that random town when they are and we'll have a drink together. Uh, lastly, GPS is a uh, well, which I call GPS, other people call Selectus. They've done many things over the years. And just like World Cup, where they're trying to get us to like soccer, I think Selectus over the years has done a good job of getting us to like hockey. So this hockey jersey is probably one of my most proud possessions. And I have to thank you guys for that. And I do like hockey much better now. So I believe uh, the Red Wings, however, have won much more uh, Stanley Cups over the past 20, 30 years than uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Whew, that was a great three mile jog. But hey, in closing, I really wanna, ah, if you get serious here and say, Stu, we really appreciate everything you did for the industry. Uh, like I've told you before, nobody has made a better impact, a bigger impact on the industry as Selectus and, and certainly what you've brought as the founder. We're gonna miss you. And uh, I know you have a great team that will carry things on. And uh, just hope to see you at future events and, and to stay close with you and your company in the future. Thanks, Stu. Star shining, shining